Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair with a great message on rapid execution that you're absolutely going to love. So let's get after it. The people who say there are no shortcuts to success probably haven't heard of closing speed. Closing speed is all about shortening the path to success. It's about rapidly reducing the size of performance gaps. It's about radically decreasing the amount of time it takes in getting from point A to point B. Having great closing speed is a critical difference between being a merely good performer and a truly great performer. So let's break down the anatomy of a great performer. The quicker off the mark than a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, or a Porsche. The cheetah is the fastest animal on Earth as it's capable of going from a dead standstill to 60 miles per hour in just three seconds flat. The spectacle of a cheetah running at full speed is the epitome of art in motion. The anatomy and physique facilitating its speed and its agility is genetic engineering at best. Anyone who has watched a cheetah run down an antelope knows these cats are impressively fast and display extraordinary closing speed. But it turns out the closing speed is just one of the keys to their prodigious hunting skills. Just as important as closing speed is their agility, their skill at adapting on the fly, leaping sideways, changing directions abruptly, stopping on a dime and then pouncing on their prey, provides them with the competitive advantages over their targets and makes them an extraordinary hunting machine. The hunt, the achievement of a goal, is all about strategy. It's about maneuvering, adaptability, acceleration, and deceleration. It's about ducking and diving, and ultimately, it's about pouncing to capture the prize or prey. So why do so many people and organizations remain inflexible and fiercely loyal to outdated beliefs and behaviors that produce only small, marginal, and incremental growth? There was someone who repeatedly consistently and quite routinely works with people and organizations who demonstrate superior adaptability skills and exceptional closing speed. Achieving goals fast, growth hacking, and driving exponential results is my reality. So how do you do it? How do you accelerate your rate of success? How do you improve your closing speed and experience exponential growth? Well, to dramatically increase the size and the acceleration of your goals begins with an understanding of the distance, speed, time formula. In its simplest term, speed is a measure of how quickly someone or something moves from one place to another. It is equal to the distance traveled divided by the time. And for our purposes, distance will be defined as the goal. So look at it from a mathematical standpoint. Speed times time equals the goal achieved. Now allow me to explain how to put this simple formula to use in your life and your career. So over the years, I've learned how to discipline myself by focusing only on the behaviors and the strategies that give me the biggest results in the shortest amount of time. I view time as an asset, more importantly, as an unrecoverable asset. And like any other asset or resource, what makes time truly unique is that it cannot be bought or sold. It can't be borrowed or stolen. It can't be stocked up or saved, bartered, manufactured, reproduced, or modified in any way. All we can do is to make use of time to leverage it, and that's precisely why we need to learn how to accelerate and to compress its use. And as it relates to accelerating your closing speed, compression, or what I like to call compressive forces, are two forces moving in opposite directions, in this case, towards one another, to compress, to shorten, and to reduce the length of time it takes to achieve our goals. The two forces we're talking about here, and which are accelerating towards one another, are your behaviors and your goals. Together, they act like powerful magnets, pulling you and attracting resources toward the achievement of your goals. And the more focused your energies, the more passionate your desire, the more consistent your behavior, the faster your closing speed. It's just that simple. So what about time expansion, you might ask? Well, tension, or what I like to call resistance forces, are two opposing forces moving in opposite directions. In this case, away from one another. To stretch, to lengthen, or to expand the length of time it takes to achieve your goals. The same two forces, that is, your behavior, which could be procrastination, excuse-making, or even apathy, and your goals are now adversarial, and they work against one another. Together, they repel one another, and they actively work to expand and to accelerate the distance between where you are and where you want to be. They sabotage any chance of success, and they perpetuate pain, they increase tension, they compromise performance, and they intensify suffering. But you must accept the reality that good closing speed is the key to fast-tracking your goals. That's why you must decide once and for all 
that you're only going to engage in behavior that compresses time, that advances the ball, that moves the needle forward, that puts points on a board, and that consistently points you north in the direction of your goals. By improving your closing speed, you'll get rich faster, you'll get healthier faster, you'll improve your grades faster, you'll learn languages and musical instruments faster, and you will achieve anything you want to be, have, and do faster and easier than you ever thought possible. The Cheetah's ability to quickly close in on his target goal and to maneuver at high speeds far surpasses that of any animal in the kingdom. The Cheetah is truly in a category of one. It's really the all-around athlete, the ultimate hunting machine. And that should be your goal as well. So happy hunting, my friend. And to learn 100 additional strategies for fast-tracking your goals and improving your closing speed, be sure to check out the 100-Day Challenge at 100 daychallenge.com.